Mr. Carter, sir, on the left side, please, sir. Clarence is just a regular guy from the neighborhood who just wanted to make his family proud, impress his girl, and you know, be something in the world. Like he, he wants to be important. He wants the world to know that he was here. And um, that's it. It's, it's Clarence is all of us, yeah. It's just creating, you know, just we love creating and whether it's audio, visual, etc., etc., you know, behind the scenes or whatever. It's just putting a great story out there. Great storytellers, you know, James is a great storyteller and you know, um, it's, it's just fun. It's amazing. Again, it's amazing. Someone who has a fresh perspective on, on cinema and, you know, just come in with something that, you know, we, we've been to the West, you know, we, we, we haven't been to the West, but the movies have been to the West and, uh, and, uh, you know, also the New Testament. So it's just, it's, it's just, it's just fun. It's such a gift. I mean, it's not often that you get to work with filmmakers that are so daring and so open and fresh and new and have a unique perspective and one that I align with. So I just felt really lucky to work with them several times now. And uh, this just feels like something that we walked arm in arm, you know, together to try and figure out and bring to people. So, I mean, I was just really humbled by the experience. It was great. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, like, obviously, Jay-Z's a GOAT. And, you know, having support for films like this, when you're making a black film, you want to have a lot of support and people that can really stamp it. And so, you know, having him as our backbone was really important for us to be able to even do this. So it's, it's much appreciated. I mean, shouts out to him. I hope that they, uh, I hope they bring something to it, and I hope what they bring to it is an open mind, and I hope they leave feeling inspired. Well, some things change, and it seems like some things really don't change. The human condition kind of tends to be on a constant. So, you know, if we could speak truth to what we're going through now, I'm sure people before us and after us could identify with the same thing. And, and no matter what your color, creed, or where you come from, you understand that, you know, there's a beginning, there's a crux, there's an end, and there's a revolution. And if we could play within that constant revolution, then we're bringing stories that people can identify with, and that's what we want to do. It's so special, you know, like, like, like having all these people around, like, it, um, it was already um, something very special to have, like, re 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 reunited all these people, you know, to work, the casting, also the producing, uh, the music, everything, the assembly, it's, it's, it's gems itself. It's like so many, like, facets, you know, um, and, and it was, it was um, something really different, you know, um, and I'm really happy to be here, be a part of this project. <laughs> Acting with them was um, something, like I said, very, very special. And I think for all of us, and just even um, when it didn't start yet, you know, just knowing that they'd be a part of it would, was already something like give you something more to come in, you know. Thank you very much. RJ. RJ. Oh, it's, 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 it's very exciting. Uh, we've been kind of anticipating this since the harder they fall. So now that we get to see it in, you know, full flow as a full adolescent baby <laughs> and then to grow and see the world, watch it grow, you feel me, it's great. His willingness to just be James and only be James. And that doesn't matter if he has to test the boundaries and or push the boundary wall over, you feel me? He's just so, so James and so me as a creator to never ask questions to myself and to risk, you know, everything for at least the smallest moment, right? That's what creates greatness and James does that with everything. It's crazy. It's one of those no skip soundtracks. Every time, you know, um, we, we hear that a new album or a piece of artist coming out, we want to have no skips. 
and most of the time we don't get that legendary piece of artwork. Luckily with James Samuel, you got no skip album. So just this soundtrack coming out, yeah. It's just a good time, man. It gives uh, people of my beautiful chocolatiness, right? A chance to see themselves in a time period where we were allowed, you know, so to see us here and have fun and not be, you know, put down in a, a bad way and we look good. All this movie looks so good. So yeah, just to see other fellow black kings and queens seen in the light. He's like a mad scientist. He writes it, he directs it, he composes the music while we're filming. He doesn't sleep, he has so much energy. He's just, he's a brilliant person. I always say he's like 10,000 men in one, really, yeah. I'm done. I could do nothing else for the rest of my life and I'll have worked with Jay-Z. He'll have made the music that I walk out into in this film. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. No one's more jealous than my little brother, because, you know, yeah, sorry. <laughs> cultural event and you can feel it from the energy oh my god jay-z jay-z just go jay-z just walked it you can feel it it's so the energy here is is palatable and it's 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 beyond anything i could have dreamed of i'm so honored to be a part of this project wow i hope they leave inspired i know that they'll see themselves and really, there's so many characters to see themselves in, but really our hero, Clarence, who really goes from being someone of no spirituality and believing in nothing and really feeling down about himself to finding redemption and hope. And, and it's really moving in that way. And so I hope people are equally as moved and inspired. Wow, I hope they leave inspired. I know that they'll see themselves and really, there's so many characters to see themselves in, but really our hero, Clarence, who really goes from being someone of no spirituality and believing in nothing and really feeling down about himself to finding redemption and hope. And, and it's really moving in that way. And so I hope people are equally as moved and inspired. Um, amazing. It was also freezing. It was freezing, but it was an experience, you know? Um, and and I, I really felt like we recovered, you know? I, I had a great, great time uh, shooting this film. I know, right? I got, to, I got to have, I got to be a little bit of both. I got to be one of the boys, but also be feminine, you know, and, 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 and live in that. It was amazing. Working with James is amazing. He's crazy. And I love him, and he he is a genius, you know. And I love the way he goes at situations and how he write his stories, and you know how he bring it together. I mean, that's that's always amazing to have Hope a part of anything is amazing. I've had the honor of working with him since I was 15 years old, so you know. Uh, and, it, and you still feel like a fan, you know, you still feel honored. So it is dope to have that type of presence and that's the presence that he had. Well, you have to put on dark glasses because his light is shining so brightly and, uh, and, and it's shining and it's rolling at the same time. So um, you have to keep up with him, but uh, it's a joy to keep up with him, but you, uh, you you can't be timid and you can't be faint of heart for stepping into a moment that you have no idea what's what's required or what's coming, but you just trust in that, that you're going to make something with it. So, I got the fangirl the whole time because, you know, of course, I got to be with Lakeith, and so uh, that, that was the person that I worked with. and. Uh, he is just a heart. He's a heart, and uh, he's very, um, you know, he, he sort of feels like he's laid back, but but he's a very forward, uh, moving, and thinking artist, and, and a man.
It's a family reunion. Not a DNA family reunion. The DNA is the creative intelligence that this group has individually and collectively. So we recognize each other, not because we work together, but we recognize each other when we got to set because we speak the same mother tongue. Nicholas, do you love sir? James is a genius, and genius has no ego. And genius knows when to collaborate, how to collaborate, and why collaboration is necessary. For all of those reasons and so many more, it was an absolute pleasure to work with James. We've been friends for just over 15 years now, and I, there wasn't, I sometimes have fear in working with people that I've known for a long time in the industry before I've worked with them. I had no fear with James. He made you feel safe, and he made you know that he was safe with you. James is awesome. I wanted to be entertained, also educated, and have an experience, because filming it for us was one. So if we can translate that to them through the way that this story has been told, then job done. It's wonderful. Stories are transcendent, and they should be. That's what every good story is. When they say a story hasn't aged well or a film hasn't aged well, it's because it wasn't good in the first place or it wasn't good enough in the first place. This is timeless. The timeless ones don't have an age, so they don't have to age well or age badly. They are just what they are and they will always remain a classic. And what you're seeing with James's work are classics and they are going to age better than well. I'd say his energy, his enthusiasm, his dedication to storytelling and just, you know, creating something that's for people that look like me is, is, is special, you know, and, I, and, and you feed off of that energy each and every day and you just want to be part of something that lives longer than you, you get what I'm saying? And that's what we hopefully have accomplished with the Book of Clarence. I feel like for me, what was special about being part of a cast like this is that when you come to work, you know you got to show up. You know what I mean? There's never a day that you come and you're like, oh, like I can take this easy, or you know, you're not gonna, you're always gonna receive something that you can feed off. You always can give someone something, and you know they're gonna feed off it as well. And I feel like that's special. You know what I'm saying? That like a lot of the time, with the work that I've done, I work with new actors and stuff like that, and sometimes that's missing even though you can still deliver something special but to see the heavyweights and see people that really are you know take it there each and every day and each and every take is really special so it made me up my game and i was grateful for that and to have someone of uh jay-z's kind of stature just makes me believe that this can be not just something good or great it can be something incredible you get what i'm trying to say and i just want to be do things that are incredible bro like that's that's the that's the level that i want to i want to work at Hopefully so, yeah. Good fun. He is such a surprise. He's such a welcome surprise. Um, he's making a big old biblical epic. He's putting his own very personal, very modern slant on it. And he's coordinating big epic stuff. And he's still just boogieing on dance floor in the middle of a set. So uh, to see somebody command that, and be relaxed was really inspiring. Can you guys just laugh, Listen, I just want to be a part of good movies and work with good people, and these are good people, and that for me is everything. So it's an honor. Jane, he brings his vision first and foremost, and it's clear, a lot of clarity in it. And, um,. Just vibes, I mean, in between takes, he's playing, he got the speaker up, blaring out music, we're having a good time. When the camera's off, when the camera's on, the passion, the love for it, the kind of, the intensity of it as well, I mean, it's, it's just all encompassing, man, he's, yeah. Oh man, I mean, it's amazing, you know what I mean, it's amazing, like, to, to have him producing, to have him having him put music into it. Man, obviously he's like one of the icons, so yeah, it's great. Sometimes it's a little bit like, I can't believe I'm part of all of this, 
but it's all greatness, you know, and, 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 it's, and it's a privilege and a pleasure to be part of it, for sure. That's your left And that's on the left side, sir. Yeah, it's what we do. It's what we do. It's, uh, it's a beautiful film. Um, it was beautiful to get that call from, from James, you know. We've been talking about working together for a good while. So it was wonderful to be doing on a fantastic film like this in Matera, Italy, which is a place from out of this world. It's just like stepping through time when you go to Matera. So it was a real privilege to shoot there. They need to see this because this is a story that will take you places. This is a story that's going to make you laugh. This is a story that's going to make you reflect. Uh, it's a story of redemption, uh, which is a universal theme. You know, and it's a story of a man finding his way in this life, making some big choices, getting knocked down, and finding a way out. A man realizing that perhaps community is bigger than the self. It resonates. It resonates because humans keep doing the same thing, cycle, cycle, cycle. <laughs> so along the way, we'll learn something. So absolutely, this resonates with what we're going through today. You go see Book of Clarence, you're going to see something magical. You're going to laugh, you're going to enjoy, and you're going to think a bit. And um, I think that's a very worthy thing to go do. It's like Wonka Land. It's an adventure. Do you know what I mean? You're entering James's world. He's really collaborative, um, warm, kind. I mean, you could see all the guys, because there's a lot of men, basically and young men, you know, they all respected him and he just treated everybody the same. It's, you know, fabulous atmosphere. And it's very inventive of him to sort of like do something in biblical times, but just bring it home to his experience of growing up in an inner city. So many people coming together, but so many people from different places. Obviously, you've got a lot of American actors, got a lot of British actors, African, you know, Caribbean, France. I mean, it's like everyone coming together under this collective dream of James's to tell this story. Amazing cast, man. Like, I knew the movie wouldn't wouldn't fly or live without Lakeith. So as soon as I had him, I could breathe, and then I could. Um, spread my wings and approach everyone else I need to, but I needed Clarence. And Lakeith, for me, was born to play Clarence. If he refused to do um, Clarence, I wouldn't have shot the movie. I wouldn't have made the movie until he agreed to do it. It's because I think when you make great art, you attract great artists. And you know, James Sermon is a dope artist, you know what I mean? He's different. You, have to, you know what I mean? I write, I produce, I compose, I perform the songs, I direct the joint. I'm okay, I'm kind of, you know what I mean? I handle my business a little bit. To be a part of this event is kind of like a, as our director and writer James Samuel said, it's kind of like a moment that our, we've been waiting for our parents have been waiting for, their parents have been waiting for, and their parents' parents have been waiting for. That is to say, we are now able to go back into the Bible days and see the world as it might have been in those times in which we have not seen in 135 years of the moving image. It's excellence. Like, he represents essentially like the highest form of artistry and thinking and approach to just your storytelling. So like with him, you don't have small ideas, you got big ideas. You're encouraged to even think bigger, which is kind of an amazing thing to be around. I hope they can take away the fact that the reality is, it's a big one. There is no black, there is no white, there is no color, there's just human beings, right? Through the history of time. And so everyone deserves to see themselves in every place, fashion, past, present, or future. And that's what I hope they take away from this. Everybody on your left side.